of many different people from the age group of 18 right up to 60. According to the World Health Organization, the youth are actually a vibrant and they form the largest component among the demographics of population in the world. Malaysia having 31 million people, youth could easily be 60 to 70 percent of that population. Now these, this group, we have a lot of hope in them because of the enhancement of technology and science, the tools that we have to disseminate information within a split second, and the ability to form networks, virtual networks across Malaysia and across countries of the world. they will get proper knowledge from uh, people who really know and they will go further and get skills so that they know how to do and what to do and when they can do. Because what we want is for the youth to be leaders and they will be going out and becoming leaders of the community. So if they have the proper skill and the proper knowledge, then they make this as their lifestyle where they practice this all the time then people will look up to them and say, oh, yeah, he has done it. As future teachers, I see myself as influencer and educators that actually can influence future generations to make changes in environment and sustainability. As a future teacher, I believe that everyone should play their roles on saving our earth. So I hope that I can educate my students and get them involved in doing voluntary activities, especially on making our environment better. Nama saya Nur Emilia Nabila binti Sumun. Saya dari IPG Kampus Perempuan Melayu Melaka. Harapan saya sebagai seorang bakal guru, especially bakal guru pendidikan khas, semestinya saya ingin mendidik anak-anak murid saya untuk mencintai alam sekitar. Jangan tebang pokok, jangan buang sampah merata-rata, tanam lagi pokok. Kerana apa? Sebabnya kita tak waris bumi ni dari nenek moyang. Tapi kita pinjam daripada generasi masa depan. Apa yang kita pinjam, kita harus pulangkan balik.